Greetings, greetings, greetings to all of my loved ones. Welcome back to another episode of Healing Wisdom with me, Empress Oracle, your favorite, realist, sexiest spiritual advisor. I hope everybody is having a wonderful day, a wonderful week thus far, enjoying life, whether you have to work or whatever you got to do, all right? Gratitude to you for taking the time out to watch my video. And if the message speaks to you, I ask that you please share it so that I can help somebody else to achieve the same healing wisdom for their spiritual journey. And on behalf of Star Sea Galactic Federation, I have been given access to this knowledgeable information from my Akashic Records for the purpose of helping humanity. This information was given to me as a divine channel and any use and or reproduction of the information without the proper acknowledgement or accreditation from where it was received will result in instant karma for the plagiarizing parties and or individuals. And so it is. Now, let's begin. So I know you saw the title and I'm talking about our sociopathic society. Now, Everybody has a little bit of crazy in them. Don't don't get it wrong. Now, if you say or or what society likes to deem as crazy is really, you know, what makes us all special and unique depending on the person. However, we are living in a world full of sociopaths. And sociopaths and psychopaths are the same thing. And the definition of a psychopath as per Webster's dictionary, it has two definitions. The first one is a mentally unstable person. And the second one is a person having a egocentric or antisocial personality marked by a lack of remorse for one's actions and an absence of empathy for others and often criminal tendencies. Now, most of us know we've come across a sociopath before. Most of us have sociopaths in our own family. Most of us have been in relationships with sociopaths. I know I have. I used to love me a good sociopath, but not anymore. That was back when I was toxic. You learn and you grow and you elevate, right? So a person like that, they can either be on either side of the spectrum. They'll be very egocentric. So they may have large narcissistic tendencies, think they all that have a big head, think that they shit rainbows, or they can be antisocial to where they're very withdrawn and, you know, it's kind of like trying to have to pull teeth to get a conversation out then they like to keep themselves alone at times. You never really know. You can never truly guess if somebody is truly a psychopath or a sociopath until, you know, they show you that side of them. You can live with somebody 25 years and never know that side of them. It takes the right triggers for people to show that side of them. And sometimes those triggers are internal and sometimes those triggers may be outside of them, but either way it goes. The main reason why this happens is because people, a lot of people are not born psychopaths. Yes, we do have people that due to genetics, chemical imbalances, they may be mentally unstable. However, that does not make you a psychopath just because you have mental issues. Some, as I said before, some mental issues are really spiritual gifts. They're just undiagnosed, but then some of y'all are really crazy. But then others of y'all are actually psychopaths or sociopaths. Now, I consider people sociopaths when they prey on certain people because then that makes you a predator. Okay, and in this sociopathic society, we're noticing more and more, we're seeing so much more predators come out. Okay, we're seeing so many more young people losing their lives because of these predators being set up and it's, it's really taken out over, over the world because now everybody's mental illnesses, they're really cutting up. Everything that's done in the dark is coming to the light and people's true colors are starting to show. So people have been intertwined in relationships and contracts with people, soul contracts with people, physical earth contracts with people for years. And now God is on, on leashing the beast, okay? He's ripping back the veil to show you who you really been around. That person is a psychopath. That person is a sociopath, right? They're a predator. And it's, it's shocking because a lot of times people are having their spiritual awakenings. And unfortunately, once you have an awakening and you truly start to look at the people around you, a lot of times you will realize that it's some of the closest people to you that have the worst intentions for you. And a lot of times you will realize that you've been sleeping with a predator the whole time. You'll come to realize that this person chose you to act 
sociopathic towards or to display their psychopathic tendencies nine times out of ten because they saw that you were weaker or you were more trusting or naive or whatever it is you just didn't fucking know any better it is it, various reasons or they might not have any reason they just are just a bad person and unfortunately it's sad to say especially when you're an optimist like myself you always want to see the best in people however sometimes you have to realize when people are around you when you're around predators you have to so what i also have come to realize right now i'm going to tell you guys this message specifically is directly channeled from my higher self and my spirit guys everything that i wrote down here was directly channeled so don't shoot the messenger when i give y'all this truth okay so predators have a tendency to have been raised that way through toxic environments traumatic experiences and or abuse and sometimes unfortunately it's just a conglom conglomeration of all three things along with underlying maybe genetic or chemical imbalances that were undiagnosed, right? And I know you guys have heard this expression or something like it before where they say the victim becomes the bully. So a lot of times when they were raised in those toxic environments or those abusive environments, or say if they were raised up being bullied, they become bullies. That's like when the abusee becomes the abuser. That's why it's so important for people to heal. And unfortunately, that breeds toxicity. And what I have come to realize, you know, after sitting back and taking inventory and thinking about all of my past relationships, I realized that majority of my exes were sociopaths and they were toxic. And when I was younger, I used to feed into that shit because you know what toxicity, it it enhances virility, unfortunately. That aggression, people love that. And a lot of people get caught up in toxicity, especially when they're used to being in toxic environments that they they kind of like live off of it. That's how they breathe, okay? It just makes them multiply. It makes them feel just renewed because they're, they feel as though a negative reaction is better than no reaction at all. And that's how you become toxic. That's how you become a sociopath. And certain people, they will prey on people. They will prey on people, especially people who like to live in peace or people who are trying to evolve themselves. You have people out here in society, for instance, on the internet, you see it all the time. Somebody could be posting a picture trying to spread love and light and positivity to everybody. And then you always have those that one hater, that one sociopath that is miserable with their life and they are mentally unstable and they wanna come and shit on everybody's happy parade. I need you to keep that to yourself. That's toxic and you are a sociopath because you went out of your way to find somebody who was in their zone, in their peaceful bubble and you tried to break that and disrupt that with your toxic and negative energy. We have to stop doing that. That's how we're spreading sociopathic tendencies across the internet. It happens so many times. All that negativity that people are spewing, all you haters who comment negativity under people's threads, under people's posts for no reason, when you could have just scrolled by or minded your fucking business, you are a sociopath and you need to seek professional medical attention because you have an issue. If you go out of your way, I understand Misery Loves Company, but the people who go out of their way because they're not happy with themselves, and they go out of their way to make somebody who is content with themselves and is finding their self-love or has their self-love or is just owns their life. They go out their way to try to bring that person down to make them feel miserable like they do. You are a sociopath, ma'am or sir. I'm sorry to have to be the one to tell you, but there it is. And you need help. It's okay. It's okay. Jesus loves you. It also comes from being sociopathic also comes from harboring resentment and ill feelings for people or a certain kind of person or personality type because of the past. Either they remind you of the person who, who hurt you or who was the initial cause of the abuse or the toxicity, or you want to make that person feel like how you felt in a situation where you felt helpless or weak in order to establish dominance or a sense of control. 
And that's what a lot of people do, especially on the internet. You know, they may have, they, they may have posted a pic and got four likes and then they see somebody else post a pic and get 400 and now they're hating. Keep that to yourself. Keep that to yourself. Stop being a hater, okay? Sociopaths or psychopaths usually have no control over their mental and internal conflicts and instead they choose to act out aggressively or commit criminal acts instead of healing the old wounds that cause them to lash or act out. And that's where that saying comes in, hurt people hurt people. There's different types of hurt. There's so many people, unfortunately, a lot of people like to carry on family traditions not really realizing that they're really carrying on generational curses and toxic cycles, that they really come from a family of sociopaths or psychopaths or narcissists. So certain things, just because it was done to you growing up, you didn't like how it felt. You internalized it and you chose not to heal. And when you are in a situation that triggers feelings, because you have not taken the time out to go within and to heal and to address your demons, face yourself in the mirror, you go in your Pandora's box and you say, oh, here we go. I remember how this felt on me. I hated it. Yeah, let me, let me do this to this bitch. Don't do that. Don't do that. Because there's that thing called karma for all the psychopaths and sociopaths out there. You will get it back. And what you have to understand is the sins of the father fall unto the son. I spent a lot of time breaking generational curses from my parents. And I don't want you guys to go out being predators on people, not even realizing you're being a predator, but you're, that you're being a sociopath because you're just repeating the abuse that you felt. Don't do that because you're cursing your children that way. And the society is to a, a point right now where all we are breeding is psychopaths and sociopaths and something needs to change. And the change starts within and it starts with us. Those of you who cannot handle or address yourself accordingly, don't make the universe do it for you. We're at the time and the place in life where it is time for everybody to face their demons, conquer their fears so they can be their best selves this lifetime. This lifetime, everybody is capable of doing that. And if you need assistance, make sure you check out my shop on Etsy, Empress Oracle Shop. There I have crystals. I do custom orders that can aid you on your journey. These crystals are important, especially for you guys who suffer from undiagnosed mental illnesses that you'd rather not speak to people about. There are crystals that can help you to ground and to balance and to focus while you find yourself and find what works for you of a natural variety instead of being damn sterilized, tranquilized, and institutionalized. Help yourself. Take that first step. I have everything that you need and I also do custom orders. That's on Etsy at Empress Oracle Shop. I hope everybody has a blessed and wonderful day and I love you all.